Hello, everybody. We did it. We closed out a close game. Goodness me. Welcome to the round two fan cams 2023 as the Blues beat the Cats. 13 goals, 12, 90 to 12 goals, 10, 82. It was rocking at the MCG. The immortal words of a very famous 70s song. Oh, what a night. What she calling on a Thursday night. What a win, oh, what a night. 40 points from forward half intercepts. Their Voss's numbers, that was the staple last year. The pressure was good. I will neck the Kool-Aid if we hit. we've got 20 more to go. So we'll see how that goes. Pommy, mate, good to be back. That's why we didn't win last week, mate. The final piece of the puzzle needed to be there, the, the, uh, the watch along. It's great to have you back, mate. Uh, Joe Adamo. Joe Adamo. Fucking, fucking go, man! Let's go! Let's go! Just did it. How hard is it? It's not hard to hold on for two minutes. I fucking did it. I did. Into the fourth, those mental deep. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was not confident at any point, pretty much until the last minute. I wasn't really feeling it until, until they did the thing. I didn't want to get sucked in because Geelong have always done that with us. Um, there was, I had, I was the opposite. I was the opposite. I was stressed, but there was a part of me that just knew tonight. They just had that feeling of we're not losing this game. We started well, we kept with them. They had a five minute period in the fourth quarter and in the second, and that was it. Sammy McClure. <laughs> <laughs> On the fan games, welcome. Oh, what a debut. What a time to make your debut. I know, you waited at the right moment. It was, the, oh, oh, I'm stressed. I'm still stressed. I, I don't even, yeah, I, I'm not like Joe. Like, I didn't. I didn't think they were going to win until they won. Like, I don't know. That, that, to be honest, like, it was a really gutsy performance. Like, I know that the Cats had their problems and they had their injuries, and but, you know, when you're playing a team that has someone like Jeremy Cameron, like, oh, it's, it's nice to win one of those. Paolo Sebastiani, SEN's very own, the jumper punch's very own. What is yes. up? What is up? Yes, uh, a very, very good win. Hey, scenes. Yeah, scenes, scenes. I, I did say we would win. I did say we would win. Um, yeah, it was very, very confident going into this week. Um, it did. It didn't surprise me uh, that we flicked the switch today. So, quick, quick quiz before we start this: um, yeah. When was the last time Carlton beat Geelong by eight points? Nineteen eighty or nineteen sixty-eight. And that the was the year. You beat Geelong by eight. All right. And guess what happened in September that year? We won the flag. I've got my water. I've got my Kool-Aid. Let's go, baby. There we go. Why are we doing this in round two? Why am I doing this in round two? This is going to come back and bite me, but I don't care. We just beat the reigning premiers. You're in there. About the Ruckman is over. We play two Rucks. Okay. We play two Rucks. For the rest of the season. It might not work, but we play two Rucks. Sure. You'll watch the replay, and this goes for... The majority of our players throughout the game, you'll never see that many Carlton players put their heads over the ball in any other match. Riley, Riley, yes. How good's fucking football, mate? Last week, we went down the line the whole time, didn't chip it around today, we chipped it around. Harry Mackay's marks, De Conning's mark. Um, yeah, so I thought we closed out really well. And I think um, this might be a bit controversial, but we should thank the Pies for last week because I think they mentioned in the commentary, but they, sort of showed how you can expose them. It, it just had that, that feeling about it. And I, I just thought like, just show me the maturity, show me the growth. Like, what more, what more do we need to finally fucking get it over the line? And that siren, mate, I just, I was a maniac. Like it went off and I, and I was screaming like everyone else. But then if, if, if there was a camera on me doing this, I was doing the rash fit. I was like, I was just screaming, mentality, mentality. <laughs> we just hung in there and leaders were leading, but without doing anything special. They were just like Sadi slowed the ball down at times. And I'm like, this is great. And then, you know, we picked through like we did against Richmond, but then when we went fast, we went fast. It was really nice balance tonight. They did some really nice things. And you know, McGovern makes the fuck up. And that's okay because he didn't drop his head like a leader. He was like, let's get back to the next contest and he made a spoil. And I was like, 
okay. And then you've got Ollie Holland going back and making a clutch spoil. And, you know, Louis Young stepping up, Harry stepping up, mate. In the last, you know, that's leadership. Mark. If it bleeds, we can fucking kill it. Welcome back, mate. <laughs> we did it, mate. And uh, just good to see how happy everyone is, man. I know it's only round two and one and a half wins and all that, but I think that could be an important win when we look back on it. If we continue doing what we did tonight, I mean, what what they did tonight compared to last week is it's just a complete turnaround. It was amazing the way they were just moving that ball. They were taking it on. And even when they did mistakes, they just kept on, you know, like uh, trying to go through the middle and taking them on and, and kicking it to our two big forwards. And and the, I think the thing I'm most happy about is the last few minutes, naturally, the way we held on, but the way they kind of controlled the game the last few minutes, you know, and then... And then Harry, I didn't think, had a good game, but then he steps up and takes some instrumental marks. And what have I always said? It might not be your night, but make it your moment. 